future future American uh, fucking absolute murder. Always full of surprises. He has cerebral palsy, so he doesn't use his voice to speak. But he's fucking super consistent, super fucking cool. We love to see it. This is a brand new minute. Brand new minute from the great Aaron Belisle. Being a disabled person in a pandemic was really awkward because of my issues with muscle control. I basically choke on everything I put in my mouth. This guy can't definitely relate. Last week, I ate out and ordered soup. Soup makes me feel like a child, a child lying face down in a kiddie pool drowning in three inches of hot chicken water. Two tables away, I notice that a woman is glaring at me. Our eyes meet, and she starts hollering at me. You have the COVID. You're gonna make me sick. You need to leave. Now. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't have the COVID. I have the palsy. It isn't contagious. <laughs> well, are you vaccinated? Yes, I am not that I need to be. My condition has social distancing built in. <laughs> Unfortunately, not in your case. <laughs> Don't feel bad for me. I've made my peace with being French. Suddenly some anti-vax guy sees me and says, look at you, I knew it, them vaccines so messed you up. <laughs> and I like to stir the pot, so I was like, right, yeah, I was a track star before I got the vaccine. This is what I'm talking about. The future of Kill Tony, Aaron Belial, only his fifth appearance, I do believe, on this show. Uh, two appearances ago, you did so good and impressed Roseanne so much that she just fell in love, offered you a mentorship, super cool shit. This is the first time Tim Dillon is seeing you. H how do you feel? What's going on? Other than your left hand, how do you feel? <laughs> Shut up, we're friends, you idiots. We really value your question. Please hold while the operator types his response. <laughs> Cold-blooded assassin. It's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. I love it. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Uh, So... Aaron Belisle. You've done it again. You, you mixed in uh, talking about your stuff, your condition, your uh, ethnicity of uh, being French, Canadian. You have it all mixed in there. Topical with the COVID stuff. Hilarious all the way through. What else? What do we not know about you, Aaron Belisle, that uh, we might find interesting that we haven't talked about? In, if in he it. says my girlfriend hits me. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! I, I mean... I mean, I'm going to have to leave if that. Aaron, has that woman ever hit you? Oh, oh shit. Oh, I knew it. See? It's not right that women are hitting the men, is it? <laughs> not at all. Very interesting. Now, I've seen, actually, I have seen Aaron uh, out and about. Very social guy. Very fun to hang out with at bars. Easy to... My ex like to choke me. <laughs> wow, that's fucked up, man. That's, it's like a hate crime or something. <laughs> that really is. I have to give you my critique before, before I uh, lose my thought. 
while you are stronger and stronger every time I see it, this was strong five star material. Yep. Yep. It was hard because I can't say the safe word when she was choking me. <laughs> that is fair. Uh, that is fair. Uh, that's true. You can't even say your safe word if you're having a thumb war with somebody. So it's a little bit of a tough position to be in. That is absolutely incredible. I bet you're great at thumb war, though. I bet that right thumb is a fucking, like, fucking Emmett Smith level, just bulldozer, just a fucking boom, just crushes in thumb wars. No doubt about it. I bet he gives the best thumbs up out of anybody. Tough to be a movie reviewer. Ali Makovsky thinks so. Okay. She's said that or something? Oh, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Strangely, I've never not understood something that you On said. On stage. Oh, she said thumb war? <laughs> We're really going backwards here. I think you're jumping back four episodes. You're making a callback to something that happened... Five weeks ago, I do believe, or something like that. But okay, we're just going to keep moving forward. Aaron, do you have any special maneuvers that you do in the bedroom when you're with the ladies? Is there something you fucking... Seems like you might have a trick or two up your sleeve. And I know because I can clearly see up your sleeve, so... It's a real straight shot from this angle. You are possessed of Satan. <laughs> Oh, oh, I know what that means. You're hung like a horse, is it? No, oh, that's Red Band again. That's what he's saying. It's pretty common. I think they call it star fishing. Or like half star fishing, half this. Oh, okay. That must be a Canadian sex term. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. How much longer do you get to be in America? What are your, uh, what have we, have we found anything out from the lawyer that uh, was supposed to give you citizenship? That's a lot of questions That lying motherfucker, he never did shit for you, did he? Oh, he's excited about this response. He just leaned into he this He said one. he was going to help him move to the USA. Yep, we have and a... And later, you know, as lawyers do, and he says he'd do it for free, and as lawyers do, of course, he... Two weeks later goes, oh, sorry, can't do it. Is there any lawyers here tonight who would do good, that? Good question. Are there any Fucking lawyers in I the house tonight? I bet there ain't because lawyers are all possessed of we Satan. Have people from, <laughs> we have people from Cincinnati, from Florida. Yeah, so. you might have a Florida lawyer. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rare lawyer crowd here. Very few lawyers or professionals or people that have jobs in my fan base. So. I don't want to pick a fight with Harvard lawyers, but the difference between me and a Harvard lawyer is a Harvard lawyer can't fist you with both hands. Ah, that is, that's a good, that's a good Does point. your mother see that joke? What do, you, what do your parents think of you doing stand-up comedy? Canadians can be a little bit weird. French Canadians can be even weirder. I'm interested to know. We should get them citizenship. Can we do They're that? They're super supportive. No, that's what we're saying. That's what we... But you got to very... fill all these fucking papers well, out. Well, he's got to get a job. He's got to get a job. Right. So we got to get him in at H-E-B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got to work. You got to work. It's a grocery store. Right, with benefits. With benefits. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. You load things on and off a truck. I think, I think they're... And then in I think seven or eight years, yeah. we'll try to get you out of that, and then we'll try to get you into something creative. I did hear that H-E-B is hiring for a very slow stalker right now, yeah. so... <laughs> he can sell balloons. They could just tie a bunch of balloons to his left arm and, like, sit there, dollar each. Thank you, Red Band. Uh, what a great contribution. The old, he can sell you balloons. You should be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I heard the real reason you got banned from Airbnb was because you were doing enemas in the living room. Oh, just taking it, shots. It's actually, this child. It's, this child. It's I absolutely know. true. It's true. 
<laughs> can we get no? But literally, we Rogan can. Someone can get him citizenship. Absolutely. I, there's no doubt about it. Where we're going to relentlessly try. We just figured yeah. we would give the Harvard lawyer that was in the like, front just row. Just go right. sneak in get across him, like, the border. Get him like an artist visa. There's go a way to do it. Go down there to Mexico and sneak across the border. <laughs> Let's help him do that. Would you rather live in America than Canada? Yeah. Yeah. We got to get him citizenship. Of course he would. Canada fucking sucks ass. You have to. They're taking people's money out of their accounts and making them take 19 jabs in the fucking eyeballs of the goddamn vaccine. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you, liberals. (laughs) Roseanne is here, everybody. It's not. Tell you what, it's nothing but a bunch of commie devil worshippers up there in fucking Canada. That's what you got up there. Goddamn I, I Castro's son, fucking yeah. what's his face is Castro's illegitimate fucking clone of a goddamn yeah. son. I like, I like, I like it. His citizenship hearing. They're like, do you have a sponsor? He's like, yes, I do. Meet Roseanne. <laughs> more and more Americans are waking up to reality and knowing I'm telling the goddamn truth. Nothing but yep. the truth. Yep. So help me God. I'm not a lying goddamn prostitute and whore. I tell the truth. Everything's a bullshit lie and I'll tell you what I knew it when my kids told me to quit smoking because I was going to get sick from the COVID so I quit smoking. Two weeks later, I had the fucking COVID. Yep. And then I read in the papers, it says cigarette smoking protects you from the fucking COVID. It's true. That's the thing. Did you see that? It's all a bullshit fucking lie to get me to quit smoking. Fuck them. Yep. God damn mother fucking right. Roseanne Barr. All right, all right, all right. Aaron has been waiting yeah, eight minutes story. to respond to a question. Uh, hit it, hit it again. Here he goes. You, you're Wait, just can five I tell star. You a story you're about better and better. American. <laughs> Roseanne doesn't understand the fact that that y- y- when you start talking, you can't stop talking. I told you that. <laughs> I told you that you could. You, were you man enough to control me? But no. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm like. I told I'm a, you once I get wound up, I can't stop, especially when I'm taking the Adderall for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm like every other man on this show. I'm afraid of being hit by a woman right now. This is incredible. Oh no. Ah. Oh. I have hit men. Let me. Oh, I bet. Let me have a couple minutes on that. <laughs> Yes, I have hit men, and it was wrong. It was so wrong of me to have no goddamn self-control with my goddamn anger issues. And I hit them, but I was not as bad as my younger sister because she was a yoga instructor and had a waist and buttocks cheeks, which I did not have. With all of us on your side, you're going to live in Canada for the rest of your life. (laughs) Quiet, I'm not done. But my younger sister actually stabbed every man she was ever with, so I never went that far. But I did slap them, and especially I almost, I did try to kill Tom Arnold. (laughs) Poor Tom. Aaron Belisle has now been waiting 11 minutes to respond. Aaron, you're good, you're good, you're good. Hold on a second, he's going to say something. Oh shit. Oh, he's taking your microphone too. <laughs> he's crossing the streams, everybody. Some, something great's about to happen here. Aaron taking. <laughs> this is one of those moments that every this comedian. This better be good. <laughs> I need to put three microphones on the Bluetooth for this next one. Here he goes. Aaron Texas Bo- is already giving me the blind confidence of an American. It's absolutely terrifying. I got accosted by a homeless guy who started threatening to kill me. So I looked the deranged Sixth Street crackhead right in the eyes, grabbed my cane like a baseball bat, and I was like, okay, buddy, let's dance. <laughs> Thankfully, Ty Rivera, 
my gay Latino bodyguard with face tattoos, showed up and beat the guy off. Fuck yeah. Incredible. Aaron Belial. Unbelievable performance. Unbelievable interview. You bring around you bring out the best of everyone around you. You're a fucking icon. It's absolutely mind-boggling to me. What a natural talent you are, especially only seven months in and fucking chasing this crazy American dream. Everybody loves you. You're a goddamn rock star. Aaron Belial, ladies and gentlemen. You're witnessing greatness. This is the future. This is an unstoppable force. By the way, Tony, he's on Cameo. If you want to uh, check him out on Cameo, he is doing Cameo right yeah, now. Yeah, follow guys. him on everything. It's spelled A-H-R-E-N. It's spelled French-Canadian because his parents didn't want him to have a big following when he was a baby. Aaron Belial, B-E-L-I-S-L-E. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe and share this video to support me.